is going on guys it is Alric Phoenix and today we are doing a Q&A about me uh, first off about the gameplay uh, this is me playing actually with a uh, subscriber um, neon neon rain yeah yeah some neon rain neon rain uh, mostly you can should be able to tell because I never play kill confirmed uh, well I played it a few times back before I prestiged my account but not since, so this is, uh, you know, one of the funny things about playing with subscribers and everything is you feel a little bit of pressure sometimes to do good. Uh, our first game of Kill Confirmed, because I haven't played any Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed, and I generally stay away from any of those game modes. Uh, my first game on, I did terribly with the guy, but then uh, the second game when I decided, alright, I'm going to put sniping down for a second, uh, I crushed this team. Unfortunately, we still lost, but I did amazing. So, on to the Q&A. Uh, I've got uh, a couple questions. So, the first one... Oh, I didn't write down who wrote me the questions. Well, that's my fault. Um, first question, will you buy an Xbox One now that the Always Online is gone? Uh, so, I've talked about this a bit. Um, part of the reason I was adamant against buying an Xbox One is because of the Always Online. I know there are some other YouTube commentators that believe that people were just bitching and complaining and that it's really a good thing. It's it's amazing. And and I believe the term was yappy little internet dogs. Um, I get their point of view. Uh, for me, I am a collector. You know, I don't buy 50 games a year. I buy seven or eight. Sometimes uh, maybe 15 per generation is how many games I'll end up buying for each console. And, you know, like my, my PS2, I think I, I got uh, the most games. I think I got about 30 games total for that, like, seven-year span. The same apl would apply for me to an Xbox. Um, it is part of the reason I was immediately not going to buy an Xbox One because, you know, 10 years down the... or 15 years down the road when the Xbox 2 is, is out, Xbox 3 even, you know, they might not be supporting the, the Xbox One anymore and then my games, you know, they turn off those servers. So then maybe my games won't work 20 years down the road. Uh, you know, I want my games to always work forever because I still go back and play them. I go back and play my Super Nintendo games, I go back and play my PlayStation, my PlayStation 2, and I will come back and play PlayStation 3 games. You know, it's it's no different. So that was uh, my main argument against buying the Xbox One previously. Now that they've taken the, the always online off, that I don't always have to be online to play, now I'll consider it. Um, there are a few games that I'm interested in. Uh, Titanfall obviously looks interesting. I'm actually kind of interested in Spark. I like I like building games. I like Little Big Planet. Uh, if you rem remember my old intro, I played Little Big Planet and uh, made my intro out of that. That's actually a, a game I really enjoy. So I'm considering it. Uh, I think there are still a couple games that I'm not sold on just yet, but I will honestly consider it. And I did make a promise to my buddy uh, Dark that if I had a thousand subscribers then I would get an Xbox so uh, if you get me a thousand subs then sure I'll, I'll get an Xbox uh, all right anyways too much time on that one uh, next question what do you do in the games industry okay so um, in small companies your responsibilities shift a bit uh, my title is content manager uh, it's a bit of a generic title. I do some scripting, I do some QA uh, testing, uh, and uh, I do a bunch of design work. So I, I'm kind of in the middle here, but I'm, I'm a content manager. So I also have a team of people that does the same thing on a couple on a couple video games. Uh, it's fun. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> um, do you get paid to play games all day? No. Believe it or not, making video games is quite hard work. Uh, you get a lot of really weird problems all the time, so it's... You know, it feels fun, and sometimes you'll step out of the bubble of, of being in an office and realize, 
I'm making a game and really I, I'm arguing over sometimes very silly minute things like putting bunny ears on a panda like absolutely ridiculous things and you kind of remind yourself of that and it, 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 you remind yourself that you're having a really fun ridiculous time but sometimes you know people are jerks or dumb or, or you know just not pleasant to be around it can be like any other office in general you do are you are surrounded a lot more like with a lot more people that are like you like or rather like me you know huge video game aficionados so uh, no I don't get play, paid to play video games all day that would be nice but that job I guess is YouTube which actually leads right into my next question do you want to do YouTube as a job or why don't you want to be do YouTube as a job um, simple YouTube doesn't pay a steady paycheck it is almost crazy that people are trying to do this as a job and have it be a permanent job outside of maybe a summer job or something or a part-time job. Um, I'm a grown-ass man. I don't have the patience to even f want to try to make something like this be a job. You know, financially, you're not getting paid that much, and. Um, Maybe in the you know in, in in the U.S. the housing market isn't is, is, is and the rentals and everything is a little little uh, softer. But in Canada, you know, you got You got to be earning a solid a solid wage to, to have a pleasant life. And I have a wife to take care of. And I have animals. And it's kind of crazy to want to try to you know hold a family when you're you know doing YouTube and earning what is like ten dollars a video, twenty maybe. Like it's it's ridiculous. Anyway, so, no. Um, oh yeah, were you a little harsh in your Tekken review because it's a free-to-play game? So, I wanted to talk on this question because I have a bone to pick with free-to-play games. Um, free-to-play games, yes, they are free. In general, I will not pay play them because all time spent is nothing you can keep. Uh, for the same reason I won't play World of Warcraft or League of Legends or Dota 2. I don't own this copy of the game. I can't play it when I want. Um, my information isn't saved, really. It's it's all external servers. Uh, Tekken isn't quite the same, but I want to be able to play this game in seven years. Uh, I don't want to have to keep paying additional prices to keep playing the game that I want. I understand people are saying, you know, oh, it, it's a, what do you expect from a free-to-play game? Again, if it were its own series, if it had nothing to do with the Tekken franchise, if it was a new company that was just taking its first steps into fighting games, I probably would have been a lot more lenient on the game, just in, in general. That's, that's just reality. But because it's Tekken, because it's based off an existing franchise, an existing franchise, I might add, that's done fantastically, that's done great, great games, and I believe has been profitable. That when they release something that is almost a dumbed down version, it's, a, it's like one fifth of a, re a regular game that they normally would release, while trying to force microtransactions, it, that annoys me because I feel like they could spend the time on making a full game instead of that. So that so maybe I was a little harsh, but I feel like they've had a higher quality in previous titles. Uh, so that's my view on that. Um, last question: <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? Yes, I I do lift. I am a very very strong advocate of exercise. Alright guys, that is all. That is my Q&A. Uh, I hope that was fun and interesting, and that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna go. There's a bit of a rain apocalypse going on outside, and I want to make sure my house doesn't flood. So, this is Albert Phoenix, uh, saying see you guys later. Peace out.